what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right guys so first of all i want to apologize for my voice i am not feeling too well so you may notice some changes in my voice uh, but that wouldn't stop me from uh, sharing with you what is going on in nigeria all right so the reason why i'm sharing this with you is simple I thought they said Peter B is um, a third class graduate in the philosophy or thereabout. It is from the APC, all right? So that has been their major concern. Yeah, Peter B, uh, he talks about education and thereabout, but he is uh, a third class graduate uh, from Zozo University. Uh, in philosophy or thereabout, and they will even ask you to fact check. Now, guess who was invited to Yola? Now, according to Peter B, on his ex Andu, he said, Today I traveled to Yola, the Adamawa state capital, where I was a guest and keynote speaker at the university, um, American University of. Nigeria, AUN, a guest and a keynote speaker. But these are the people that have not been invited for occasion like this. You understand? Now, let me give you what the uh, uh, finish what Peter B said, then I will react to uh, the reason why I'm making this video. Peter B said, this engagement was in continuation of my tradition of sharing my thoughts by speaking at various ivory towers across the globe. This trend has taken me to various educational institutions worldwide, including Cambridge University, Oxford University, Harvard University, Yale University, the Wharton University, uh, School of University of Pennsylvania, and the University for Peace, among others. At today's event, I express my gratitude to the university's founder, His Excellency Atiku Abubaka, GCON, Wazirin Adamawa, who is both my leader and elder brother for his immense sacrifice and visionary commitment to society, particularly in advancing education and human development. I commended the student of the American University of Nigeria for their resilience and dedication to staying in Nigeria to study and learn. Rather than joining the trend of Japa, a reality now prevalent among many young people in our land. During my address, I emphasized the critical role of leadership in national development underlining the need for competence, compassion, and capacity to tra transform a nation from consumption to production. I highlighted the importance of foresight and vision, citing countries such as Indonesia, Singapore, India, Vietnam, and the Philippines as examples of nations that have followed the global measurement of development and have significantly improved their human development indices. GDP, especially GDP per capita, within a decade, to prove what determined and enlightened leadership can achieve. It was indeed a great pleasure to address such an audience of most young Nigerians. A new Nigeria is indeed possible. P.O. That is Peter Obi. All right, guys, so that is Peter Obi. People that have been criticizing Peter will be, yeah, a third class, a graduate, Kiniko, Kiniko, you understand. These are the people in government when it comes to education. They know the significance of education very well. But look at their budget. I'm not going to mention state or wherever. Go each state. You understand? Look at the budget in education. Compare it to budget of things 
that are not necessary. Yes, if Peter B was not that relevant, number one, if Peter B was not a person, people, Nigeria, not only Nigerians in uh, their country, even in diaspora, look up to for a new Nigeria, they wouldn't have invited him. Which one among those people that were invited? None of them. But this is what Peter B has been doing. He was invited as a guest speaker. You understand? And now, well, people is already insinuating, yeah, Atiku Abubakar and Peter 2027. 20, well, um, that is beyond politics. Politics outside. You understand? Now, Peter Obi has given example. Some countries, Singapore, Philippines, Indonesia, others that have adapted to adopt uh, uh, what he has been preaching to Nigerians from consumption to production. How do you expect your economy to be strong, your money to be strong? You understand? When you are depending on other people, when you are importing something like petrol into a country that is uh, uh, among uh, one of the countries that have crude oil, but do not have their own refinery. But there are some countries that is not under, a, a, how do they call it, OPEC or so, or thereabout, all producing something. You understand? But they have their own refineries. But Nigeria, a country like this, that is an oil producing country, do not have refinery. But all what we hear is propaganda. You know, sometimes uh, these people think that they will just use the brain of Nigerians. Gone are those days. People's eyes is open. It is not more about politics. It's not, it's not more about political party. People's eyes is now open. Now look at what happened in the uh, uh, protocol refinery. They came up. I don't know if it was a propaganda, but now the news is everywhere. Punch have it. Sarah reporters have it. Other prominent news platforms have it. That it is not functioning. Propaganda everywhere. You grab. If one single person like Dangote single-handedly build a refinery, do you think that Nigeria as a country couldn't have had the uh, opportunity to build their own refinery or don't have the resources to build their own refinery? But yet, even human uh, uh, life is now politics for them. Because there are some people that are benefiting from there. Yes. People are benefiting from there. They don't want the refinery to work. Because if one single man in a particular country, are they now telling us that Dangote himself is richer than the whole Nigeria? If one single man, and not as if they don't have refinery, they don't have a working refinery. And those refinery. They are still paying the workers there when they are not even producing. They are paying the workers there when they are not even refining oil. So are you saying that there are people that do not want the refinery to work? Maybe for personal interest, for importing fuel into Nigeria. Nobody knows. And this is the pit that will be everybody honors, home and abroad. Somebody that wants Nigeria to work. And he keeps saying it, a, a, a new Nigeria is possible. But the question is, do the people in Nigeria want it possible? Yes, because people now take politics. Everything is now about politics. In Nigeria, even if you bring somebody from uh, a mortuary, even if you bring somebody out from a mortuary, as long as the person belongs to a particular political party, Nigerians will vote that person. It's simple. You understand? In a mortuary, those people knew, they know that this man, ah, bring him out from mortuary. 
Nigerians, there are Nigerians that will still vote for that person just because of political party. All right, guys, I quickly wanted to share uh, what Pete Aobi uh, said. If you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. See you guys in another update.